Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Cloudbook channel. In this particular video, I will gonna discuss about the CI/CD pipeline to deploy a React and Node.js application. So, which is the 2048 game on a Kubernetes cluster and also Docker container. Okay, using the Jenkins CI/CD pipeline. First, we will gonna discuss about the architecture of this particular project. So, our code is at GitHub repository. We are using the Jenkins as a CI/CD tool, right? So, using the Jenkins, we are check out the code from GitHub repository to, to your uh, local mission or instance, and we will first check the code using the Sonar Cube as the code analysis tool. Okay, so it will scan the complete code and provide the any issues in the um, code. Okay, so later on we will install the dependencies for our application using the npm install command here for the Node.js. Okay, so later for the another security check we are going to use the OWASP for the any vulnerabilities in our application code. So here we are using the OWASP dependency for the vulnerability scan. Okay, so this is the security purpose. So we are using the SonarCube for the security purpose and all and uh, OWASP also is for the security purpose. Okay, so next we are using the aqua so aqua tree is not only for the scanning of docker images but we also use it to scan the files also the, that's why we are using the another security check here for our scanning the complete files in your application or in the github repository okay so that's why we are using the aqua tree for the file scan here okay so after that we are going to build the docker image using the docker and pushing the image to your docker hub okay so after that we will scan that particular image so uh, which image we are built in this particular project is going is where we are going to scan the particular image using the aqua trivi scan to check any vulnerabilities in our complete code okay so this is also another security purpose for as our application so later we will deploy it to our docker container so once this is completed we will check the uh, application is coming up or not using our uh, Jenkins IP address. So after that we are going to deploy our complete application on the Kubernetes cluster itself and finally we are going to play the game 2004 8 on our uh, web browser. Okay, so this is the complete architecture and the complete uh, project we are going to do today. Now I will go to my AWS console. You can see he, this is my AWS console in that I will create a new missions to install and configure the tools that which are required uh, for our CICD pipeline. And here, if you have familiar with any other cloud providers like Azure and GCP, you can go ahead and create a new machines on top of that cloud platform also. Okay. So, but in my case, I am using the AWS. And also one more thing to remember, I will be using Ubuntu as my OS image here. Okay. And whatever the commands and whatever the instructions that I will gonna use for this particular installation are the are for the particular configuration. So that will only work on Ubuntu OS image only. Okay. If you are taking any other missions like Linux or Red Hat, you need to search for the instructions in the online itself. I just I am going to provide the only instructions and configurations for the Ubuntu OS image only. You can see here, this is the complete blog for our uh, today's project. So 2048 game with the DevSecOps Jenkins pipeline. Okay. So you will gonna see this particular repository when this video is available. Okay. We have to launch the Ubuntu T2 launch instance for uh, we are using the uh, Jenkins and the Sonar Cube on the same essence. That's why we are taking the T2 large instance here. Okay. Later we will install the Jenkins on uh, the instance and the Docker and preview for our uh, image scan and file scan. And we are going to run the Sonar Cube container itself on the same mission. That's why we are taking the T2 large instance type. Okay. So later we have to install some plugins like Java plugin and Sonar Cube plugin and Node.js plugin for our application. So to install uh, npm dependency stage, that's why we need the Node.js plugin also and OS dependency check to our uh, scanning of our particular uh, repository. So finally we are going to create a pipeline project using the declarative pipeline and we are installing the OS dependency checks and we will do the every pipeline step you from the scratch itself i'm going to write the complete pipeline so we are going to dog, build the images pull them push the images and deploying the image using docker and kubernetes master and slave setup on the ubuntu 20.04 and accessing the game on our browser and finally we are going to terminate the aws ec2 instance also okay so first of all we have to launch the ec2 instance which is uh, ubuntu and we have to take the instance type as a t2 large here and let me go and copy these comments i'm going to use this particular comments in the user data itself 
to be install Jenkins automatically when the instance is uh, to be check status. Uh, when the instance come up to running state, it will gonna install our Jenkins machine also. Okay, let me copy these comments and go back to your AWS console and you have to click on launch instances here so for the name you have to use anything you want i am just going with the jenkins iphone sona if you are gonna use anything like ca cd or anything you want but i am going with jenkins and sona you and the number of instances you have to take one instance itself only so in the application os image you have to select the ubuntu already it's selected to ubuntu itself and amazon mission ma image i am going to take 22.04 okay uh, in the instance step, you have to select the T2 large here. Let's go and select T2 large. So, which is TCPU and 8GB RAM. Okay. So, you can see T2 large here. And for the key pair, you have to select the existing if you want. Or if you want to create a new one, you can directly create from here. Create a new pair option. So, for the security group, you have to open 22 for SSH connection. And 8080 for the Jenkins. And 9000 port for your Sonar Cube also. And finally, this particular application runs on the 3000 port type. So that's why I already opened the all ports for this particular project. So for just for learning purpose, you can open the all port. But in the meanwhile, in the organization, you don't have to open all port for the particular projects. Okay. So I am going with the existing one. Select the existing security group and click on launch wizard one. For the configure storage, you have to take 30 JB because we are going to install some plugins on our Jenkins machine, right? That's why we not need more than uh, 20 GB. That's why we are going to take 30 GB here. Okay. Uh, let me increase to 30 GB. You can see our uh, storage up to 30 GB now. Uh, let me click on advanced details here and go to the under user data here. So I'm just paste the uh, commands you copied from here. Okay. Let me copy it again. So you can see sudo apt update way and it will install Jenkins. Okay. Uh, let me paste those comments and just click on launch instance it will install jenkins also for your uh, instance so meanwhile wait for two to three minutes because uh, it will gonna install uh, java and jenkins on your instance right that will it will take two minutes to come up okay so come back to your instances so meanwhile select the instance and uh, connect to your putty okay so click on connect here and copy the ssh client here so i already opened mobile extreme for me you can see this is the mobile extreme i already opened so let me paste the command enter so you can see you have to provide s here and it will connect to your instance so let me close this one and control l so let me see the status of your uh, jenkins Pro by providing sudo system ctl status and jenkins enter you can see our jenkins is active running uh, let me close this one and clear the screen Oh, okay let me copy the public ip address of our instance so select the instance here so we have to select the instance here and copy the public ip and let me open it here in the new tab so and control e with 8080 basically our jenkins runs on 8080 port itself okay so this is the official sign in page for our jenkins let me copy this particular path okay so let me go back to your putty so and you have to provide sudo get and paste the particular path to get the password so this is the password to just sign in our jenkins okay let me copy this one and paste it here and click on and enter so you have to click on install suggested plugins here so it will gonna install some plugins for our jenkins mission okay so meanwhile we are going to install docker on this particular instance so this these are the commands to our uh, install docker on your instance okay so i know the comments let me pay, paste those comments first we have to update first instance so let me install docker on it okay so this will install docker for our system let me clear the screen and if you provide the docker ps without sudo it will throw error okay permission denied error so all you have to do is add this particular ubuntu user to your docker group so by providing this particular command sudo user mode hyphen a capital g docker space ubuntu okay and if you provide the same command again you will still get the error because we still not restarted our system docker system so meanwhile to restart your docker group to take the effect you have to provide this particular command new group docker here okay enter 
if you run this particular docker ps command again you won't get any permission denied here okay you can see the output container id image and id so status ports and everything you can see okay so let me add the permission to our docker dot socket group also by providing this particular command sudo ch mode and triple seven var run sorry slash docker dot socket enter okay so this will gonna set the permission to docker dot socket also next we have to start the sonar cube on our docker by providing this particular command this command go will gonna install sonar cube on our jenkins machine itself so we can just provide this command to launch our sonar cube in sonar cube okay so this command will run the container for our sonar cube docker run iphone d in the daemon mode iphone iphone name as the sonar so by default sonar cube runs on the 9000 port that's why we are exposed to 9000 and this is the official image for our sonar cube okay that's why we are providing the sonar cube long term support community just copy this command and paste here okay shift in shift enter enter so it will gonna run the container for our sonar cube okay it will take some time so meanwhile let's set the admin user here Okay. you can create by providing your username password confirm password and full name and email address okay but just i don't want to create any user and i'm going to continue as the admin that's why i'm clicking on skip and continue as admin here just click on save and finish and start using the jenkins here so all you need to do is just change the admin password from the admin section here this is the dashboard of jenkins okay click on admin here on the top right and all you have to do is go to this particular configure and go down and in the password section just double tap here and change the password to whatever you want okay and provide the tab and provide the password again to confirm your password okay first you have to apply it later you have to save it if you save the password first it will gonna throw error okay so that's why you have to save the apply first and later on you have to click on save okay so remove this one and click on enter again okay just provide the username as admin and password is whatever the password you have set okay so this is the jenkins page is up and coming and let me copy this one and our sonar cube will run definitely open here no tab so provide the 9000 here because our jenkins and sonar cube runs on the same instance that's why i'm copying the same public ip address here okay so you can see our sonar cube is getting ready so if you want to go and see here by providing the docker ps you can see a container is running now so sonar is running so at the port 9000 login for the username is admin and the password is also admin small letters only and click on login and click on ok never and the old password you have to provide the old password here and tab you have to set the new password for your sonar cube okay and confirm the password and update here so this is the official dashboard for our sonar cube and this is the official dashboard for our jenkins okay so we have to install trivi now on your system okay instance uh, everything is same this is the password and password and the username for the sonar cube okay i provided everything in the blog itself okay update the password you can see this particular page and all you have to do is install trivi let me copy this code and let me create a cell script here and control the screen see clear the screen and you have to provide sudo va trivi.sh and paste this commands insert mode and shift insert and click on enter and uh, escape mode shift colon double eq and provide the executable permission sudo ch mode and triple seven uh, for the trivi.sh file okay cell script file you have to provide the executable permission okay so let's run this one okay by providing the dot slash trivi.sh it will install trivi on, on our system so meanwhile we have to install some plugins on our jenkins okay so let's go to the jenkins so you have to go, go to the jenkins dashboard and you have to click on manage jenkins and you have to select the plugins section and you have to go to the available plugins tab and you have to install eclipse so this is for the java plugin okay this is the sonar cube plugin to scan our code and finally we need to install npm installations right dependencies that's why we need the node.js here so you can see i provided the images also eclipse Timurin, and sonar cube and node.js here so we have to install these three plugins first okay let's go to the jenkins dashboard 
and all you have to do is click on manage Jenkins and you have to click on plugins you have to go to the available plugins here and search for the Temurun here or Eclipse anything works if you provide the Temurun all you have to click on here and you have to search for the sonar also just provide the sonar or sonar cube anything work you can just click on this one you have to install this particular sonar scanner okay click this checkbox and finally we have to install node.js right just search for the node.js you can see our node.js is here this plugin you have to install this plugin just click on this one and all you have to do is install so it will install for our plugins okay and come back to manage jenkins so let's go back to blog and once you have done what you have to do go to manage jenkins you have to set the tools here for our application to run the particular project so all you have to do is set this particular java version to 17 here so you can see i already said provided the image here i provided name as jdk 17 and the version is 17.0.8 okay so i have to do the uh create a project here as a 2048 anything you want okay uh, i forgot to add i forgot to add this particular node.js image uh, but i will add later okay uh, meanwhile go to the tools section in here tools uh, under tools in the jdk installation section you have to click on add jdk and the provide the name if you provide the name as java 17 here you have to paste this particular name in your uh, uh, pipeline okay so install automatically and add installer and select from install from adoptium.net okay and select the version as 17th one here okay 17.0.81 okay and later on in the node.js you can see node.js installations also click on add node.js here uh, for the node.js i am going to provide the node and 16 here okay and you have to select the version 16.02 okay 16.02 2.0 okay node.js 16.20 and everything is same apply so we have to add these tools in your uh, particular jenkins mission okay later we will create the project later so first of all we will configure the sonar cube with your jenkins also in order to do the integration with the sonar cube we need the sonar cube token so all we have to do is go to your sonar cube dashboard and create the uh, token so in order to create a token you have to click on administration here and security tab you have to click on security here and click on users and under groups under tokens you can see here under tokens you have to click on here update tokens and provide the name here anything you want i am just going with the jenkins and expires in 30 days okay and click on generate and you have to copy this particular code okay and copy and come back to your uh, jenkins mission okay let me apply and save these tools first so we in the credential section we have to add this particular sonar cube token okay click on credential and click on global so and add credential section here and under kind you have to select the secret text here and paste the particular token copy the token and paste it in the secret here okay for the id you have to provide sonar uh, let me use the capital s okay sonar hyphen token so description is also same okay create who oh, created the token and credentials to our sonar cube okay meanwhile add the tool also to scan our particular code so we need the tool right which version we have to use to scan our complete code of sonar cube okay so in the tool section we have to add the particular sonar cube version under sonar cube scanner installations you have to click on add sonar cube scanner and provide the name anything you want just i am just providing the sonar icon scanner here okay and select the latest version only okay 5.0.1 okay click on apply and click on save so we added the tool but we didn't configure yet okay so we have to tell the particular jenkins to go to this particular uh, ip address and there you can find our sonar cube dashboard and you have to use this particular token and you have to scan our code okay so meanwhile to do that you have to go to the system and we have to add this particular sonar cube dashboard ip address up to 9000 okay copy this one right click and copy so let me close this one also so under the sonar cube servers you can see this is the sonar cube servers you have to click on add sonar cube 
and you have to provide the name here under sonar cube installation so just provide the sonar icon server we are just telling that our sonar cube server is at this particular url go to this particular url and use this particular sonar token right we are added the token in our credential section that's why we are selecting this particular sonar token here all you have to do is uh, provide any name you want i am just providing the sonar server and the ip address of our sonar cube dashboard and just providing the token all you have to do is don't provide the slash at the end here okay for the ip address and click on apply and click on save so meanwhile you have to add the quality gate also in our sonar cube dashboard okay so copy this public ip address of your jenkins dashboard and go to the sonar cube and click on administration and click on configuration and under web hooks so you have to create and provide the name so i'm just providing the jenkins and the url you have to paste the url jenkins url and, and after slash you have to provide sonar cube hyphen web hook okay and you have to provide the slash after that one so just click on create okay this will create the quality gate for our jenkins and the sonar cube okay so everything is done here here you can find the every image you can see administration users update tokens provide the name and generate token go to the credential section you have to do everything so you can go to the system and add this particular ip and token and finally we have to select the tool also which version we have to use for our sonar cube okay so under web books we have to provide this one okay so 8080 sonar cube web book okay you have to click on create and we have to write the pipeline now okay so meanwhile click on new item here and provide the name so i'm going with 2048 and click on pipeline and click on ok so i will write the pipeline from the scratch itself from the uh, visual studio code pipeline right pipeline within the brackets click on enter so agent so we are not using any particular agent for this particular project that's why i'm going with agent any and under tools section you have to provide the jdk here jdk so let me go back to your manage jenkins and let's apply this one first so let me open this particular dashboard and go to the manage jenkins i have to click on right click and open link in new tab open the tool section only in the new tab okay oh, under dashboard and open this particular game so under tool section whatever the name you have provided in the jdk you have to mention the same name here after the jdk here okay uh, let's go yeah you can see here under jdk installations i provide the name as java 17 here let me copy this one and paste it here okay uh, control v and dot okay for the node js you have to provide node js and single quotes what is the name of the node js here you provided under installation of the node js yeah you can see so you provided the name as node 16 let me copy this one and paste it here and save this particular file okay next for our uh, sonar cube scanner tool okay so under sonar cube scanner installation this is the scanner uh, I, I mean uh, this is our sonar cube scanner home okay we have to add the environment tool in order to call this particular uh, sonar cube version in our pipeline stage okay uh, let me copy the code from here uh, i don't want to make this lengthy video so that's why i'm copying the name so you can see uh, name is same here uh, under tool section just paste this one so scanner home tool this is the name we are using in the sonar cube installation you can see here under tool section so the name is sonar scanner let me copy this one and change it here okay control v okay so everything is same you have to change the same name here so if you use only sonar there you have to use the sonar here okay let me add this stages stages open the stage under the stages you have the stages right for this stage single quotes you have to clean the workspace first clean workspace let me clean the workspace every time under stage we have the steps okay so under the steps what we do we will clean the workspace let me provide the command clean capital w so as small as and the brackets here 
let me add the new stage to check out our code stage open bracket check out from github okay let me open a new tab and steps for our project and you have to generate the pipeline syntax right let's go back to your 2048 game and click on configure come down and you have to click on pipeline syntax here okay so it will open in a new tab okay so you can directly generate the code from here let me open my github for this particular project so our repository we need repository right so click on as a seven event so this is the game we are using this particular in this particular project right react cacd let me open that one and this is the master branch okay let me copy the code here copy and pipeline syntax you have to select the sample step here first you have to select git and the repository url paste the url of your repository i mean the code so the branch is master so i don't want to change anything here and just generate the pipeline syntax just copy this code okay copied and you have to paste here for the next stage what we have to do we have to do the sonar cube analysis right stage single quotes sonar cube scan okay you have to open brackets and the steps so uh, you have to generate the code from this pipeline syntax again okay so you have to select with sonar cube env go under you can see with sonar cube env here and click on that one so you have to select the token just click on the token and you have to just generate the pipeline syntax here with sonar cube bnv you can directly copy this one so this will run under the script here okay so under steps you have to provide the script otherwise it won't run okay so under script you have to provide this particular command and let me remove this one with some black okay you have to all you have to do is paste this particular command okay so let me copy this command okay so what this particular commands will do i will gonna explain everything just copy right click copy here and go back and paste here okay so this will do what it will do it will scan everything in your code okay under the sonar cube so if you want to go with this particular credential id it will works fine but i am going with the sonar server here okay so we already provided the sonar server and the ip address for our sonar cube dashboard right under system let me go and so that one also uh, go back to manage jenkins under system you can see here under sonar cube installation we have we have provided the name as a sonar server let me copy this one and you have to remove this one if, if you provide this uh, if you provide this particular uh, stage this will also works fine but uh, i am going to delete this one and i'm just providing the just sonar server here like this under you can see i'm providing this same sonar server here like this one okay so i don't want to use the credential id there okay uh, let me put this in single quotes okay okay so this what this cell command do it will go to the scanner home our scanner home is at here and under sonar scanner so our particular sonar cube version is here so this particular code will go to this particular environment tool and go to our particular sonar cube version and it will scan the project with the name of game okay so we will generate the output with the name of game here and this is just project key for identity identification purpose only okay so let me add another stage for our quality gate also so let me copy this one directly okay so quality gate here right click copy and paste here so we are using the credential id here we provide the same name right sonar token for our credential id whatever the token name you have provided in the credential id you have to paste the same name so let me show that also go back to your main jenkins and you have to go to the credential section you can see here i provided the id as sonar token let me copy this one and you have to provide the same name here okay otherwise it will throw us error okay let me paste this one okay so let me save this code okay let me copy this code completely control all control c we are going to do up to this sonar cube score analysis only you can see here also okay let me add the stage npm install also so we are going to install dependencies also right that's why you have to go to 
add this particular stage also let me add this particular stage so don't want to waste any time okay so what these particular tools uh, what are these particular stages to this particular first stage will do clean the workspace everything okay whenever build starts so every build whenever the every build starts it will gonna clear the workplace completely to save your space okay so in the next stage it will check out the code from your github repository and the next stage it will gonna check your code with the sonar cube and provide the detailed report okay so this will provide the quality get if this particular sonar cube analysis is working fine and okay past the our uh, conditions let that then only the quality gate will move on to the next stage otherwise it will stop at here only okay at the quality gate itself so finally we are installing the dependencies for our node.js application let me copy everything and control c and go to your pipeline 2048 here and paste it here okay so apply and save and build the project now you have to click on build now okay so it will take some time okay so you can see the output here also so it's taking uh, normally 2 minutes for 24 seconds to install dependency to check the code analysis everything is less than 1 minute only so for the installation of dependencies it's taking more than 3 min 2 minutes okay so if once this is done so it, it's showing the report to our uh, complete sonar cube analysis how many lines it scanned uh, what is the code smells and everything you can see the detailed report if you click on the issues also okay uh, let me see so this is working fine sonar cube scan also is running fine here so it's take less than 28 seconds only you can see the image here i already provided the image here so meanwhile let's go and install our os dependency checks also okay so OS dependency and the trivi already already installed that's why i added the stage here just this is the stage to scan file scan all you have to do is sh and trivi trivi is which is we have to provide the trivia right you have to scan image if you scan the image you have to provide trivia space image we are scanning the file system that's why we are uh, just providing the fs here to scan the file scan here okay uh, dot means you have to scan everything okay let's go to the jenkins here and under the dashboard and you have to click on manage jenkins and you have to click on plugins here and uh, available plugins and search for OS here also OS. and you have to click on this one and click on install here so it will take less than 30 minutes to install come back to manage jenkins under the tool section we have to add this particular OS dependency version also go to the tools here you can see we are using the 6.5.1 i am using the name as dp check here let me change the name okay so you can see the name here also okay 2048 okay so this one is fine our first build is succeeded here okay uh, let me add the tool also go to the dependency installation add dependency check here and provide the name as a dc here okay i'm not providing the same name as a dp check every time okay so just click on install automatically and add install install from github.com and you have to select the 6.5.1 version here okay and you have to click on apply and click on save so i let me open the tool section only so let me copy this particular code i don't want to make this video length so i will explain here everything and enter and paste here so what it will gonna do it will gonna scan every file in our repository okay it will scan everything in your particular code we are just providing to scan every file okay so our word is installation what is the OS for installation name we are provided there so let's go back to the tools and go to the dependency check i provided the name as dc here okay let let me copy this one and change the name here okay Control v so i am providing the name as dc here so whatever the name you have provided there you have to paste the same name here okay so and it will provide the report at here particular file so this particular OS dependency vulnerability scan report will be found at this particular file dependency check report.xml format it will generate the report in xml format and finally we are uh, scanning the files also using the trivi so it will generate report to trivifs.txt okay control all and control c let me save this one also 
and go back to your web 2048 and click on configure so go to pipeline section and click Control A and delete the old code and paste the new code you can see here we are added a new stages here for OS scan and trivia file scan okay let me apply and save and build now okay so it been gonna build the our second build now okay so meanwhile we are going to add some plugins for our docker you can see this particular output for a vulnerability scan report as a dependency OS. so we are going to install this particular uh, docker plugins so all you have to go to this particular one manage jenkins and under plugins and available plugins you have to search for the docker okay enter and install docker and docker commons docker pipeline docker api and docker build step here and just click on install it will take one minute to install all plugins here okay come back to manage jenkins so go to the tools section you can see docker installation under dependency check installation click on add docker and provide the name as docker here okay and installation you have to click on install automatically install download from the docker.com and you have to use the latest version only okay click on apply and click on save you have to add the docker credential also so click on credentials here and you can have to click on a global add credentials and select the kind as a username with password here okay provide the docker hub username here okay and for the password you have to paste the docker hub password or if you want to generate any personal access token and you have to paste the token here and it will also work fine just i am going with my password here okay so for the id i am just providing as the name docker description also is a docker here and click on save so our docker credential is also added and come back to manage jenkins okay all you have to do is this one only in for the docker setup so let's go back to your code and add the new stage for our docker build and push the image okay so stage stays here so docker build and push open new bracket stage steps so you have to write the cell script here okay uh, meanwhile you have to uh, generate this pipeline syntax also okay for the with the uh, docker registry we need to docker credentials right in order to push your image to your docker library we need the docker of credentials also that's why we need to generate the pipeline syntax also go to the pipeline syntax here replace this one you have to click on with the docker registry here with the docker registry set up docker registry endpoint okay let me click on this one and you have to select the credentials of your docker here save as a okay for the docker installations we have already set up the tool in the tool section okay let me see, put this one so we already added this one in the tool section okay generate the script so it this is providing the error means you have to run this particular thing in the tools i mean script section otherwise it won't run okay so this is giving the warning to you okay let me copy this one right click and copy and you have to write the script here otherwise it won't work and paste the copied com and content and click on tab here and remove this some black also and sh you have to provide the three single dots here to run this particular docker build command and run command okay in order to build the image you have to provide this command docker build hyphen t what is the name you want to create i am just going with the 2048 and dot you have to provide the where is our docker file right so i am just going with the docker build hyphen t 2048 and dot and next we have to tag this image docker tag 2048 colon latest with 7 as a your docker of username 7 as a slash 2048 and latest so after that we have to push this particular image docker push what is the image name 7 as a slash 2048 and colon latest you have to put this one okay 
after that we have to end with three triple quotes okay single quotes and control save this one this will gonna build the image and tag the image with your username here okay so and with the 2048 here okay everything is same you can see here also under blog section i already completed the one if you see sh is built if you want to run this particular SSH, SSH, this is also works fine. But for the multiple cell commands, you can go with this particular like this uh, with the triple quotes. Okay, this will also works fine. Okay. Finally, we have to scan this one, right? For this mess, add that one also stays. Single quotes to the image scan. Let's go to the brackets and for the steps all you have to do is provide the sh command so what is the command to scan image trivi image provide the image name what is the image name 7 as i right slash 2048 colon latest to scan the image and if you want to provide the output also you have to provide the trivi image report dot txt so it will generate the report to your txt file here okay uh, let me save this one you can see here our output is also here okay so trivia stays also here okay so let me go back to your 2048 yeah it's still canning our file system so you can see here so what is this particular error uh, everything is working fine so what is the image output here this is also fine here and the console report is also working fine we got the success message here uh, main will go to the our uh, sonar cube here under projects let's see this is passed here and 868 lines it's scanned everything works fine and go to the issues everything looks fine here and it's still getting the same error okay so nothing to worry about that let's go to the console output once and you can go to the dependency check here okay you can see the vulnerability scan also here so there are so many high severities here for the vulnerability scan also okay so our build is succeeded but it's showing this error message okay nothing to worry about that uh, let's add this to other steps also um, we will copy this docker build and push commands control all and control c and remove the old code delete and paste the no, no code so to build and push the image to our docker hub and finally we are building scanning the image also save apply and save it and you have to build now okay before uh, deploying to container i want to continue with the kubernetes setup also let's go and uh, launch the two instances for our uh, kubernetes also okay so i don't want to waste the time that's why i'm going to launch this particular instances and we are going to deploy container and the kubernetes master in the next build only okay that's why we are going to build the uh, set up here from the uh, for the kubernetes for the number of instances we have to select the two here so because we are going to set up the master and slave right that's why we need two instances and for the name we have to provide the khs here for the instance you have to select the ubuntu ami and go with the 20 here okay 20.04 uh, don't use 22.04 because uh, I am providing the commands to 20.04 only for the Kubernetes setup. Okay, so go with the 20.04 only. So instance type you have to select the T2 medium. So go with the T2 medium only and existing key pair Mumbai and go with the security group with the all port open. Okay, so launch wizard one and the 8 GB memory is enough. Okay, just click on launch instances okay meanwhile come back to your instances so it takes some time to come up okay so meanwhile let me add the kubectl on our jenkins machine otherwise it the kubectl apply won't work okay let me copy these commands okay go to your uh, instance clear the screen here so let me create a name i mean uh, let me create a cell script okay using the sudo vi kubectl dot sh okay click on enter and paste the com sorry enter so paste the commands and go to the insert mode okay and provide the curl hyphen y here otherwise it will wait for our confirmation okay 
and executable permissions provided triple seven for the kubectl dot sh okay so run this particular kubectl dot sh it will install kubectl on our jenkins mission okay so meanwhile open the new duplicate tabs for our uh, kubernetes master and the slave also okay so let's go back to your instances so set the names one for the master here save and other for the worker uh, if an worker here save okay so click on the master and click on connect copy the ssh client here and go to your uh, mobile extreme paste the command enter and meanwhile copy the client uh, workers client also so copy the ssh uh, i mean select the kubernetes worker also and click on connect here and copy the class ssh client for the kubernetes worker okay copy it and go to the third tab and just provide the client and you have to provide as here for the master is yes. and close this one and you have to provide the s yes also yeah provide as yes here enter yeah close this one also uh, let me clear the screen on the both both the master and the worker we have to set the names to remember okay by providing this particular sudo hostname ctl so sorry spelling mistake at the hostname itself uh, let me change the name to na okay enter so if you provide exec bash here it will change the name to kubernetes master okay you can see so let me copy the same command right click copy go to the worker node and paste the command and change it to kubernetes worker here okay and i'll go to home and click on enter exec provide the bash here okay so it changed it to worker okay let's update the missions sudo apt update so update the master first and later on update your worker so do the every command on the master only first okay sudo apt update okay so for the master itself we have to install docker on the kubernetes master and the kubernetes worker also okay so let's install the docker so to install docker we have to provide this particular command sudo apt install docker dot io hyphen y and for the master sorry for, for the worker also we have to install docker sudo apt install docker dot io hyphen y okay enter so this will install docker on both the master and the worker we have to set the users with the permissions okay whenever we run the docker page we don't want to get the permission done so that's why we need to add this particular ubuntu user to your master all i mean a docker group also so we have to add this sudo user mode hyphen a capital g docker ubuntu enter and you have to provide this particular command new group docker to take the refresh okay so if you provide the docker ps again we don't get any error so meanwhile provide the permissions to your uh, docker dot socket also var run slash docker dot socket okay enter so in the worker also we need to add this particular ubuntu user to your docker group sudo user mode hyphen a capital g docker ubuntu enter new group docker and let's see whether it's getting error or not so okay everything works fine add the executable permissions to docker dot socket also var uh, run docker dot socket enter so everything works fine you have to install ma docker on both the master and worker also uh, meanwhile add install the kubernetes so everything is same here okay sudo host name ctl kts worker you have to do this part two on the both master and node that's why i'm doing the both master and worker we did that 
we did this to up to this part okay so let add this particular key to install our kubernetes copy this one paste it on the master first enter okay everything fine so let's add this here okay this is also fine so add the repository here okay let's copy this command this will add the kubernetes repository so go to the master first shift insert enter click on enter and on the worker second enter enter so you have to update the on both missions now okay sudo apt update and the master also sudo apt update so let's install the kubedium using this particular command so already updated the systems so that's why i'm not coming this copying this particular command okay so i'm copying this kubelet and kubedium kubectl for the installation so paste the command and click on install it will install the kubernetes on your both master and worker node okay so both kubedium kubectl and we need them so we need on both the master and worker node this kubelet and kubedium and kubectl okay so kube api server also we need to install copy this one okay on the master node itself let's clear the screen and shift in shut and it will install the kube api server okay so you can see downloading kube api server on the worker node also you have to install this one enter okay so a this up to this point the both the commands on for uh, you have to provide the both the commands on this particular master and worker up to this point only up to the api server for the next kubernetes minute you have to provide this particular command in the master node only let me copy this one and go to this master you can see kubernetes master here and paste it and it will take one minute to complete the cluster setup okay so meanwhile go to your 2048 so we are getting the error message okay just leave this one but our build is succeeded okay if you go to this particular third one so you have go to the workspaces you can see the trivi.txt and trivi report dot also so you can see we are getting the dependency check report also we are getting the file scan report also and finally we are getting the trivi image report also you can see here yeah our image report also is working fine so let's see whether our docker image is coming at the docker hub or not let's go to the docker hub first so everything is working fine for me but it's showing the error message here okay don't worry about that okay and we are getting the error message because of um, this particular ovas thing i i think let's go to the docker hub and let, let's see whether our image is at uh, docker hub or not okay we push the image to our docker hub right let's see whether it's coming or not first of all okay so meanwhile go to this one okay so copy the, our kubernetes cluster is set up let's copy this command and paste it in the master only okay copy this one uh shift in shut enter and copy the second and third commands also enter and finally ch1 permissions also have to provide right click copy and paste it here enter everything is working fine all you have to do is add this particular command to set up the bridge between the master and the worker node okay copy this command and install it on the master node only okay enter so this will set up the kube panel for our as let me copy this kubedm join command okay right click and copy and kubernetes worker you have to provide the sudo and paste the command that you copied to join our kubernetes master on the worker node okay just enter okay you can see it will it's connected to our kubernetes master okay let's see and clear the screen so let's clear the screen here and let's see kubectl gets nodes here whether nodes are coming or not yeah so both master and worker node are in ready state now okay we can go with the deployment now okay so before that when the master node itself we have to go to the dot kube folder first of all for the kubernetes key in order to integrate with the our uh, jenkins mission right that's why we need to go to the dot cube first and we have to go cat the config file here so for the configuration file 
and all you have to do is just copy from APA version to at the end of the file here okay right click and copy and you have to save this particular uh, configuration file in your local bro local file explorer go to your local file explorer and go to the i'm pasting just pasting at the document section only so if you want to paste it another a download section anything works fine you have to create a new secret file here i already created new secret file here so let me open that one so and remove the old key here all you have to do is paste the new key so with the new file you if you want if you don't have old file you just create a secret text file and paste that command okay and cd double dot back to home okay so our 20548 uh, image is coming now open it's lost pushed again nine minutes ago okay you can see here push lost push it to nine minutes ago okay so our build getting wrong but our image is pushed to our dark group also okay uh, everything is fine we added this particular one and we are going to add the kubernetes uh, plugins also go to the plugin section first of all uh, under the available plugins search for kubernetes and you have to install kubernetes credentials client ap kubernetes cla provider and pipeline dev steps okay click on install okay so all you have to add this configuration file to your uh, jenkins mission using the secret file by pro at the credential section go to the manage jenkins and go to the credential section whatever the file you cop i mean uh, whatever the configuration you copied from your kubernetes master to save it on a file you have to add this particular file to credential section of your jenkins mission okay so go to the global and add credentials and click on it here select the secret file for the kind okay and choose the file that you saved for the kubernetes configuration file under documents i have selected the secret file right click on secret file here and open and provide the name as ks for the description i am going with the ks also okay and click on create so we added the kubernetes credentials also okay so go to the 2048 and click on configure let me copy these two stages i don't want to paste any time and paste those here so you, you are seeing that how we are deploying to continue using this particular command 7 as a 2048 latest so this is the image name right we are using so that's why i am running with the same name 2048 latest docker run hyphen d it's running on um, 3000 port and finally we are deploying it to kubernetes also so how did this but you get this particular command you maybe go to the particular pipeline syntax here and just refresh this one all you have to go to this particular sample step and you have to generate for everything from here only so on click on one go to the with cube config here so with cube config under credential you have to select the secret file text ks and everything is same just generate and under some black you have to just provide this particular command okay so what is our command uh, we are going to apply kubectl right that's why we need to apply kubectl apply ipnf deployment.yaml apply and save so these two stages will deploy on container and kubernetes cluster also okay let me build this one so don't worry about this particular uh, uh, build error okay stop this particular one uh, we are getting error at this particular OVSP only uh, it's error because of that uh, we are getting build failure here uh, because of there is a ARN build failure error okay so let's go to the configure and add two lines for the ARN build okay okay let me build it again okay so you can see now now our build got succeeded here so lost the two times we got the error because of the OWASP only everything is working fine now so if you run this particular project you will get the success message only no need to worry about this particular failure okay so you can see finally our application is deployed to container and finally deployed to our kubernetes also okay so let's open this particular kubectl that all on worker node itself 
uh, you can see our particular app is running at 31,836 here. Okay, so meanwhile, copy the Kubernetes worker IP address here. Select the Kubernetes worker here. Copy the public IP and click on a new tab and paste the command and colon you have to paste the uh, 31836 also and sorry nothing to just provide the enter here you will get the output here okay so no need to worry. just you have to provide the public ip address your uh, app just you have to provide the kubernetes worker ip address and you have to provide the service port here so on which port your uh, our app is running okay 31836 you will get the different port here okay so no need to worry about that you can directly play the game here okay so you can see okay, our app is working fine now okay so you can play the game now okay you can see we are playing game on the kubernetes now let's see whether it's deployed on our uh, docker or not so copy the jenkins ip address here and it runs on 3000 port okay uh, control V and provide the 3000 here okay and enter you can see it's coming on uh, Kubernetes I mean Docker also this app is working on Kubernetes and this particular game is working on Docker also okay you can play the game here okay sorry you can play it here okay see we are getting the output also okay Okay, everything is fine. Thanks for watching the video and keep on supporting to the Mr. Cloudbook channel.